Perhaps you can recall an instance when an ambulance was traveling towards you on the street. As the ambulance approached with its sirens blasting, the pitch of the siren sound was high. Suddenly, after the ambulance passed by, the pitch of the siren sound was low. Now this is a classic example of the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is the change in the observed frequency of sound, light, or other waves produced by a moving source. It was first proposed in 1842 by the Austrian mathematician and physicist Christian Johann Doppler. While observing distant stars, Doppler noticed how the color of starlight changed as the star moved. He explained, if either the source or the observer is moved, there is a shift in the frequency. Since color is a manifestation of the frequency of the light wave, the color of the light from a star should change according to the star's velocity relative to Earth. Now this phenomena is also called the Doppler shift. So the question is, why does Doppler effect happen? Well, let's consider a stationary source that's emitting waves in all directions with a constant frequency. The shape of the wave front coming from the source is described by a series of concentric, evenly spaced shells. Any person standing still near the source will encounter each wave front with the same frequency that it was emitted. What if the wave source moves? Now, the pattern of the wave fronts will look different. In the time between one wave peak being emitted and the next, the source will have moved so that the shells will no longer be concentric. The wave fronts will bunch up or get closer together in front of the source as it travels and will be spaced out or further apart behind it. A person standing in front of the moving source will observe a higher frequency than before as the source travels towards them. Conversely, someone behind the source will observe a lower frequency as the source travels away from it. The pitch we hear depends on the frequency of the sound wave. A high frequency corresponds to a high pitch, a low frequency corresponds to a low pitch. While the siren produces waves of constant frequency, as it approaches us, the observed frequency increases and we hear a higher pitch. A similar change in observed frequency occurs if the source is still and the observer is moving towards or away from it. However, in real life, the observation is not that obvious. We hear the siren of an emergency vehicle non-uniformly increasing as it approaches us and non-uniformly decreasing as it recedes. If the distance between the observer and the creator gets closer, the frequency is higher and the wavelength is shorter. For light, this causes a shift in color towards the blue end of the spectrum called a blue shift. The faster something is moving towards us, the greater the blue shift. If the distance between the observer and the creator gets longer, the frequency is lower and the wavelength is longer. For light, this causes a shift towards the red end of the spectrum called a red shift. The faster something is moving away, the greater the red shift. Police radar gun is another example of the Doppler effect. A radar gun is a device used by law enforcement officers to keep a check on overspeeding vehicles. But have you ever wondered how a radar gun can calculate your vehicle's speed? Well, a radar gun is basically made up of a radio transmitter and a receiver. It transmits a radio wave signal and it receives the same signal back after it bounces off the target object. When the object is approaching the radar, the frequency of the return wave is higher than the transmitted wave. Conversely, when the object is moving away, the frequency is lower. So by analyzing the frequency changes between the transmitted and the reflected waves, the radar gun can calculate the speed of the vehicle. Do you know any other real-life examples of the Doppler effect? Please let us know in the comments below. Well, that's it for today. Please subscribe and give a like if you find this video useful. Thank you for watching.